And good evening. I'm News 3's Eric Franke. Thanks for joining us on this Wednesday night. Madison's hospitality to the homeless in question. In tonight's top story, the night team's David Douglas in our news center with reaction from those questioning if the hospitality even exists at all. David? Yeah, Eric. Can the State Street panhandling problem be solved with city furniture? It's a term that refers to trash cans, planters, and benches, I'm told. But those who panhandle say it shouldn't be that easy and they shouldn't be tossed out. Just a few coins in a cup might not be much to you. I gotta have money in my pocket. It's not good out here without any money. To Mark Sperry, they're almost all he has. Oh, well, I've been out of work now for about three and a half months, so it's been tough. So for now, he goes to work in a very small office, a green box spray painted on the sidewalk, the only place to panhandle on this stretch of State Street. Gotta do what I can until I get back working. The box is new, painted by Madison Police as a result of this newly installed ATM and an ordinance that requires panhandlers stay 50 feet away from it. Staying the 30 required feet from a business entrance on the other side squeezes them into this small square. Panhandling is some of the only resources that some of these guys have. This is the only way they can get funds. Nate Abrams would know this used to be him. He's no longer homeless, but unhappy some city leaders are talking about moving trash cans and recycling bins into the green box to move panhandlers out of Peace Park for good. It's really nothing but a cosmetic solution to a more profound problem. You know, they push the homeless out the way, then you ain't got to see them. Police tell News 3 panhandlers often cause fights and other problems. Sperry fears if he's squeezed out, his road home will just get longer. People don't have a place to, you know, to make a little change, a little extra money here and there. I mean, you know, uh, with the job situation, everything the way it is, it makes it pretty tough for everybody to make, a, to make any money, you know. Now, as for getting anyone to actually talk about the movement of that so-called city furniture, well, that's a whole other story. The police were willing but just didn't have someone available. Numerous city leaders we talked to just seemed to point the other way, but we do know it is going on. When action might be taken, though, is still very much up in the air. And, David, this seems like an effort to do something before the Peace Park uh, renovation there is complete. Yes, exactly. And the folks we talked to said that they are peaceful when they panhandle, though, as we pointed out, there are some well-documented cases where there have been disputes in the area. News 3's David Douglas in our news center tonight. David, thank you.